Hello my yogis, my name is Sanya and welcome to Sunrise Yogi channel. Today's class is Dynamic Keep Opening Vinyasa Yoga Flow. We're going to start in Child's Pose. So place your knees together or wide, extend your hands in front of you and rest your forehead on the floor. We're going to use this moment to connect to the present moment to connect with your body and with your breath. Check in with how you feel today. Scanning for any tension in your body, just noticing. Then slowly we're going to come all the way up on our hands. Then we're going to take our left hand under, underneath our right to tread the needle and rest your head on the floor. Inhale back to center and then the opposite side, feeling the light, gentle twist around your shoulders and your upper back. And inhale, come back to center. And now we're going to come to our all fours. Tabletop position. Now on the inhale, look up, lift the sitting bones, open the chest. And as we exhale, round through your spine. And again, inhale. Move with your breath, exhale, chin to chest, inhale, open, and exhale, round through your spine, chin to chest. Then inhale, find your center, neutral position. Now we're going to tuck the toes and bring the hips back and up in your first downward facing dog. So pedal the legs here. Feel whatever feels good for you. So checking in how is the body today. Checking in the area around the hips. And then on the next inhale, lift your right foot all the way up. Stack your right hip on the top of the left. Bend the knee. Lift that knee as high as you can. And then exhale, come back to your downward dog. Other side. Inhale, left leg up. Open the hip. Bend the knee, lift the knee as high as you can, and breathe. Exhale, find your down dog, find your center. Now look between your hands and step your right foot forward, come down onto your left knee. Inhale into low lunge, open the heart, and exhale, hands down, shift the hips back into half splits. Straighten the front leg, feel the hamstring stretch. Inhale, come back up into your low lunge, exhale, hands to prayer, and then twist to your right side, hooking your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Press the palms against each other, look up and feel the twist in the upper back. Inhale, come back to center and exhale, hands down, step it back, downward dog. Inhale, left leg forward, come down onto your right knee, inhale, find your low lunge, open the heart and exhale, hands down, half split. Shift your hips back, straighten the front leg. Inhale, move forward, find your low lunge. Exhale, hands in prayer and then twist to your left side. Hook your right elbow to the outside of your right knee and press those palms against each other. Look up towards the ceiling. And breathe through your core. Feel the juicy twist. Inhale, hands up. Exhale. Hands down to the mat, come back to your downward facing dog. Stretch your back. And then slowly start walking your feet to the front of your mat. And as you inhale, find your halfway lift, flat back, exhale to fold. Shift the weight in your heels, inhale, come all the way up, stretch up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up, once again, grow tall. Exhale, hinge from your hips, come all the way down, relax your neck. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down, step back into plank. Come down on your knees and as you exhale, find your baby chaturanga all the way down to the floor. Extend your toes back. Inhale, lift your chest for cobra. And exhale, tuck your toes under and find your downward facing dog. Stretch your back. As you inhale, step your both feet forward. Find your halfway lift. Exhale to fold. 
Inhale, come all the way up, stretch up, grow taller, and exhale, hands to heart center. Let it flow. Inhale, exhale, hinge from your hips. Inhale, halfway lengthen. And exhale, plant your hands down, step it back into plank. Exhale, lower down through Chaturanga. You can go down on your knees or not. Extend your toes back, your choice. Inhale, Cobra or Upper Dog if you want. And exhale, find your downwards facing dog. Stretch your back here. You can keep pedaling your legs. You can feel, you can keep steady position, whatever your body feels like. And then on the next inhale, stretch your right foot far way back. Stretch through your toes, here really feel the hip opening and try to guide your left heel all the way down to the floor. Now exhale, step your foot forward, inhale, find your high lunge. Now as you exhale, open your hips into warrior two. So stack your shoulders over your hips, look forward, find the warrior within you. Rooting down through your both feet evenly. And then as you exhale, find your side angle, your right elbow to your front thigh. Extend your left hand over your head. And then inhale, reverse your warrior with your left hand going all the way down behind your back. Inhale, come back to your extended side angle. Move with your breath, feel your body, feel your hips. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Breathe in here and exhale, find your side angle. Now hold it here so you can have option to go all the way down on the floor with your right hand or just stay on your elbow. Or if you want to go even further today, challenge yourself, you can take a bind here. So it's your choice, whatever your body wants, however you feel today, look up towards the ceiling. And then if you were in your bind, you can slowly come back to your right hand and come all the way to your peaceful warrior one more time as you inhale and exhale, windmill your hands down, step it back to plank pose, lower down and through your chaturanga, inhale cobra or upward facing dog and exhale downward dog, going through our vinyasa, warming up the body. Inhale, your left hand Inhale, left foot up. Extend your toes, reach out through that foot as far as you can. And exhale, step the foot forward. Inhale, find your high lunge. Then exhale, root your back heel down, open up into warrior two. Feel the rooting down, grounding through your feet. Feel the strength of your core, your warrior. Draw your core in, draw the belly in. Find the stability through your core, through your hips. Then inhale, find your extended side angle here. Exhale, peaceful warrior with your right hand all the way around your lower back. And then again, come to your extended side angle, move with your breath and peaceful warrior. Inhale here. And exhale, find your side angle, this time hold it here, so your version can go down on your hand. Or even if you want that challenge, go all the way back into your bind. If you're in your bind, try to um, pull your top shoulder all the way back so your chest is open, so you're not collapsing into your shoulder. Breathe it through. And slowly letting it all out, come back to your peaceful warrior as you inhale and exhale, windmill your hands down, step it back into your down dog, come forward into plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, cobra or upper facing dog, your choice. And exhale, downward facing dog, stretch your back, pedal your legs, do whatever feels good for you. Breathe it through. Now we're gonna take our left ankle with our right hand and look underside your left armpit. Come back to center, other side. So we're 
introducing another twist in our upper back here just breathe it through opening the upper body slowly and find your center and down dog again Now look to the front of your mat, step or hop to the front. Inhale, find your halfway lift, exhale to fold, relax your neck. And inhale, come all the way up, stretch up and exhale, hands to heart center. Now inhale into chair, so bend your knees, lower your hips down, draw the belly in, extend the tailbone down. Your triceps are in line with your ears, breathe it through. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, find your halfway lift. And exhale, plant your hands down, step it back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward dog. Stretch your back. Push the floor away from you. Inhale, right leg up. This time bend the knee and open that hip as far as it can go. And exhale, knee into your chest and step it forward. Inhale, find your high lunge. And exhale, hands in prayer over the heart and twist to your right side, hooking your left elbow to the outside of the right knee once again. This time, more advanced version. Now press the palms against each other. Look up towards the ceiling, pushing that back heel far away from you as you can. Now, if you want a little challenge here, you can place your left hand on the floor outside of your right foot and extend your right hand up towards the ceiling. So it's up to you again. Listen to your body and then lower your both hands down to the front, frame your foot and now move the foot to the edge of your mat and your both hands inside. So preparing for lizard pose here. Now shift your hips forward and back, just moving here a little bit noticing the sensations around the hips and then find the center lower your knee back knee down extend your toes so you can stay here in your lizard or you can go down onto your forearms so it's up to you listen to your body it's a great hip opener and be aware of any sensation around your hips and just to feel how deep can you go be mindful then slowly coming back to your palms if you were on your forearms tuck your back toes under uh, move your uh, right foot back into the center find your high lunge once again on the inhale exhale twist so we're going in reverse here now shift your weight into the front foot look down at the floor and step your left foot to meet the right into twisted chair here I know your legs are burning <laughs> just breathe it through breathe it through almost there and inhale hands overhead exhale come all the way up shake your legs shake the tension around your hips shake it all out and again inhale sit back into chair exhale fall forward inhale halfway lift exhale Plant your hands down, step it back into plank. Lower down to Chaturanga, inhale, upper dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe it through, you got this. Inhale, your left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. Lift that knee as high as you can, really open through the hip. And exhale, bring the knee into the chest, step it forward. Inhale, find your high lunge. Exhale, hands in prayer over the heart and twist to your left side, hooking your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Press the palms against each other, look up towards the ceiling and we'll try to release your back heel down to the floor as far as it can go. Breathe into your hips. And another challenge here, so if you want to lower your right hand all the way down and extend your left hand over towards the ceiling, so just an option. Breathe it through. Now wherever you are, lower your both hands down to the front of your mat. Shift your left foot to the outer edge of your mat. Your both hands are inside of your foot for lizard. And start shifting your hips forward and back. Be mindful around your, about your sensations around the hips here. Now lower the knee down, extend the toes back. 
look to the front prepare if you want to go down on your forearms you can go down otherwise just stay here on your palms now breathe into your hips slowly coming all the way up shifting the foot back into center tuck your back toes under inhale find your high lunge here and exhale twin twice again so we're reversing the flow i know your legs are burning just a little bit more shift the weight into the front foot and step your left your back foot forward into twisted chair lower the hips a little bit more down and just breathe it through inhale find your center chair pose exhale come all the way up to standing shake it out great job everyone this was a great and intense hip opening now let's do some balancing so we're going to root down through our standing leg our left leg bend the right knee and lift it up into the chest so your hands can be on their hips or in prayer position and then cross your left and your right ankle over your left knee and sit down into chair so this is one legged chair or figure four so go as deep down as you can so it's a standing pigeon also so it's a great hip opener and try to rest your elbows on your shin on your right shin and just hold it here for a moment and then slowly come all the way up shake it out we're going to do that one more time going a little bit deeper so inhale right knee into the chest exhale cross the ankle over your left knee and sit back into your figure four so this time you're going to try to go a little deeper you can hug your shin placing your hands on the, underneath and if you want to go even further down you can plant your hands down try to anchor into your palms and your standing leg and slowly bringing those hands into prayer once again and coming up into standing position with your right knee to your chest you're not done yet here keep going so now we're going to shift that right foot back into warrior three extending it far away from you keeping your hands in prayer and then bend the standing foot and step back into high lunge and then lower your right knee down extend your toes shift your hips back find your half split and release it down fall forward really working those hips today and then inhale come back forward and step it back into downward facing dog just even out here balance and then come down onto your knees sit back into your child's pose you can rest your forehead down onto the floor just noticing the sensation around the hips around the legs and trying to even out to balance and to breathe through it And then look forward coming into your all fours and then find your downward dog again look between your hands step or hop to the front of your mat inhale find your half lift exhale to fold and then inhale slowly come all the way up stretch up exhale hands to heart center now let's do the other side so we're going to root down through our opposite leg our right leg this time and inhale lift your left knee into the chest exhale cross your ankle over your knee and sit into your figure four so try to go as deep as you can here really and keep your left uh, foot flexed and go as low as it feels comfortable and try to rest your elbows onto your shin look forward find your drishti your focal point for balance and then inhale come all the way up and shake your leg so let's do the deeper version inhale again left knee into the chest exhale sit into your figure four so keep your drishti keep your steady breath it helps with balance so if you want to hug your shin here keeping your hands in prayer or if you want to go deeper you can plant your palms down find the rooting down through your hands here this is a great preparation for many arm balances from here so it's important to open the hip 
and then inhale come all the way up knee into your chest and we're going to transition to warrior three so start leaning forward shifting that left foot back behind you as far as it can go then bend the standing leg and inhale find your high lunge exhale lower down onto your left knee extend the toes back shift the hips back find your half split straighten the front leg and exhale fold over your foot inhale come back forward and exhale step the foot back into downward dog great job everyone great job this was really intense on the hips and on the legs and then come forward into plank and lower all the way down onto your belly extend your toes back let's work a little bit in our upper body just open the chest so plant your palms down press your hips down chin to chest and prepare for cobra slowly as you inhale for one two three four hold the breath and then exhale for three two one we're going to do this one more time keep your feet together or hip width apart inhale one two three four hold it there and exhale four three two one okay for third time you can repeat this cobra or you can go into upper facing dog so your choice prepare inhale one two three four hold the breath inhale exhale four three two one great job everyone extend your toes back now place your stack your palms rest your forehead on your palms and take a few nice deep breaths around your core area into your belly this is a massage of all of our organs here just relax The deeper you breathe, better the massage. And slowly bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale into little cobra and exhale, find your downward dog. Move your hips up and back and then step to halfway and sit back onto your mat. Now take the flesh out of your sitting bones, find the short edges of your sitting bones, flex your feet, inhale, extend your hands overhead. And as you exhale, Parshimottanasana forward fold. Catch your calves, your ankles, your feet, whatever you can grab here to root down to anchor. Inhale, extend one more time, open the chest and exhale. Try to go a little deeper. Now just relax here. Try to turn your attention inwards again to listen to your breath. And slowly coming all the way up. Now place your soles of the feet together for butterfly or Bada Konasana. Now open the soles of the feet like a book. Inhale, flat back, reach through the crown of your head and as you exhale, fold. You can use your elbows to open your knees wider. And just close in again. Just relax your head, relax your upper body and turn your intention inwards. And slowly coming all the way up, move your knees together, extend your feet in front of you, lay back onto, lay onto your back. And now we're going to shift our feet over the head for Halasana or Plow Pose. Now try to straighten your legs to lift the hips as high as you can and move the shoulders back. Now from here we're going to walk our feet towards one side so this is like a gentle twist here so go as far as you can on the side as far as you have balance and slowly come back to center and then walk your feet to the other side just be mindful of your neck and try not to move your head left and right it's not good for your neck in this pose or in shoulder stand then come back to center and place your knees over your ears if that feels comfortable. Otherwise, you can stay in Halasana. This is a great pose to really turn your, all of your attention inwards and to listen to your body. Then slowly to come out of it, we're going to start um, 
vertebrae by vertebrae going down your, on your mat then slowly keeping your legs straight lowering all the way down to the floor now let's counterbalance here place your hands underneath your sitting bones move your elbows in and come into fish pose lifting your chest up and coming onto top of your head this is great counter pose for halasana or, sh or sh shoulder stand so we are breathing through our throat through our throat chakra here and slowly coming out of this and hug your knees into your chest rock from side to side giving your back a really nice massage here and then preparing for Shavasana, our final posture. Just really release your hands down, release your feet to naturally fall down. Close your eyes, take a nice deep breath here. Okay, let's breathe in through our nose and out through the mouth. Taking all tension out of the body. Then keep breathing in your natural way, your natural breath. And feeling your body relaxed. Allow yourself to feel heavy and to fall heavier into your mat. Feeling supported, feeling safe. And now bring your attention once again around your legs, around your hips area. Just noticing the difference in the body then moving to your upper body to your shoulders just feeling the lightness and relaxation and connection of your mind body and soul through yoga practice i encourage you to stay here for a couple of minutes at least to enjoy your relaxation and I'm going to use this to thank you for joining me for this beautiful practice I hope you really enjoyed it as far as I did and I hope I'll see you again on my next class and please do not forget to subscribe or like this video if you enjoyed it it, me it means a world to me and it supports yoga online namaste